This is Jupiter Today for the 22nd of January, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. The time of this recording is 2327 UTC on the 21st of January, 2015. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 28 minutes, 40.4 seconds, and a declination of positive 15 degrees, 51 minutes, 53.6 seconds. There are some technical difficulties with the site that I get some of the information on that I report on here today, so I'm not able to give you the angular separation from the sun or the phase angle. The distance between the Earth and Jupiter today is 655,669,047 kilometers and that's 734,734 kilometers closer than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between the Earth and Jupiter of 30,000 613.92 613.92 kilometers per hour moving towards one another and that's 1,861 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC CM1 135.48 degrees CM2 270.74 degrees CM3 175.07 degrees. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day near its eastern elongation. Europa starts the day in quadrant four, heading east. And Ganymede as well starts the day in quadrant four, heading east. They're both, as you can see, going to be moving behind Jupiter today. And Callisto is over here in quadrant two, heading west. And it'll be doing that all day. Six hours UTC, EO is firmly in quadrant two, now heading west. And by 12 hours UTC, EO is transiting Jupiter from Earth's point of view. That's this blue line here. Europa is starting to move behind Jupiter, move into quadrant one. And by 18 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant three, heading west towards western elongation. And Ganymede is now moving behind Jupiter from Earth's point of view. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO has passed its western elongation and is now in quadrant four, heading east. Europa is in quadrant one, heading east, as well as Ganymede. And Callisto continues its slow orbit around Jupiter, roughly 1.8 million miles from the orbit to the center of Jupiter. And he's still in quadrant two, heading west. There will be eight Jupiter satellite events today. At 10.07 UTC, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 10.30, EO begins its transit of Jupiter. At 11.41 UTC, Europa disappears into the shadow of Jupiter. At 12.25, the shadow of EO egresses. At 12.47 UTC, the transit of EO ends. At 15.14, Ganymede moves into the shadow of Jupiter. At 15.18, Europa reappears from behind Jupiter. And at 20.24, Ganymede reappears from behind Jupiter. There will be two satellite mutual events. And once again, I will show the 
Earth's point of view on this. This bright dot in the center of the Earth is the location on the Earth where Jupiter will be directly overhead at the zenith at that particular time when this mutual event is happening. The first event goes from 1327 to 1332 UTC when EO is going to eclipse Ganymede. It's a 5.3 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.186 degrees magnitudes. The separation of Ganymede from Jupiter is 38.86 arc seconds and EO and Ganymede are 23.93 arc seconds apart. And as you can see, the northwest corner of North America, a lot of the western part of Asia, folks in Hawaii, some folks in Australia will see this event. The next mutual event takes place at 1417 and goes to 1421 UTC when EO occults Ganymede. This is a 3.7 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0 0.07 magnitudes and it's 29.04 arc seconds from Jupiter. And as you can see, just time has passed a little bit. More of Australia will be able to see it. Much more of the well, Western Asia will be able to see it. Anybody up there in uh, the Aleutian Islands, you'll be able to see that too. And Hawaii can see it. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. It's as if we were standing on the equator of Jupiter and looking out over the next 24 hours. Looks like Io is going to pass in front of Callisto. No human eye will actually ever see that happen tomorrow. But there it's going to happen. Maybe someday. Europa is going to do the same thing to Ganymede. It's a very active day in the Jupiter sky today. A very dynamic system it is. Europa just went into shadow. Ganymede will be following, but from this longitude, we won't be witnessing it. Oh, we did see Ganymede go out and come back in. There's some other moons popping in and popping out. Okay, the red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today. First at 510 and the second at 1506 UTC. There were no new images, no new radio data, and no new papers. So I appreciate everyone subscribing. Please make sure to tell everybody that you think might be interested in this kind of a podcast to uh, tune in every day about the same time like to hear comments and hear any questions, I might be able to answer them. You can send your images and comments and questions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.